Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Airbnb reported earnings last week, and now that we've had a little bit of time to digest exactly what's going on with the company, I think there's a lot of positive trends. Revenue is up, cash flow is really strong, but one thing I don't think is getting enough attention is the company's balance sheet. I want to show exactly what I love about the balance sheet and why it's actually a source of income for the company. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And if you like this video, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing, in the show notes. Now, I want to go straight to the shareholder letter because this gives us an idea of exactly how much money Airbnb is sitting on. Now, this is the Q2 2023 shareholder letter, and I'm going to go all the way down to the balance sheet. Now, remember, Airbnb has a market cap, as I'm recording, of about $92 billion. So what we want to look at here is what's going on with cash and short-term investments. That's a basically equivalence of cash, things like treasuries and whatnot. You can see that there are $10.3 billion worth of cash and equivalents on the balance sheet. But right underneath that, we have funds receivable and amounts held on behalf of customers. When you book an Airbnb, you pay for it ahead of time. And Airbnb gets to keep that cash and holds it on the balance sheet, generating income, another $9.1 billion. So in total, $19.4 billion worth of cash sitting on the balance sheet for a company worth $92 billion. There is a little bit of debt, so keep that in mind. There is $2 billion worth of debt. And these funds that Airbnb is holding on behalf of customers does need to be paid for what they're actually getting from their Airbnb. So this is not cash that Airbnb gets to keep. But what they do get to keep is the interest. If we move back up to the income statement, you can see that interest income in the last three months was $191 million, up from $20 million a year ago. That's about an annualized interest rate on that cash of about 4%. So I think there's actually reason to think that Airbnb can increase the amount of interest income that they can generate from just simply the cash sitting on the balance sheet over the next year. Remember that interest rates have gone up, just raised again recently. And so short-term interest rates are now over 5%. That means that on an annualized basis, Airbnb should be generating about a billion dollars per year in just interest income from the cash sitting on the balance sheet. That is on top of the cash flow from running the business. This is another one of the great advantages of a business like Airbnb. They have what's called a reverse cash conversion cycle. That means that they collect cash before they have to spend cash. This is also something that happens with grocery stores where you pay for your groceries that you get today, but they were probably bought within the last 30 days and a grocery store doesn't pay their suppliers for maybe 60 or 90 days. So grocery stores are getting cash before their bills are due. That's essentially what's happening here with Airbnb. There's about $9 billion in cash that will eventually become due as people go travel and do what they're going to do on Airbnb. But as the company grows, we will see this cash base actually expand. So there's not only a very solid balance sheet for Airbnb from operations, there's actually a solid balance sheet just in cash that they get to use because they're collecting those deposits. This is one of the real advantages of higher interest rates is companies with solid balance sheets get to use this as an even further tailwind. So Airbnb's core business is doing well. It's generating cash. It's growing. The fact that it's generating cash and growing means that the balance sheet, which is carrying that cash, is just going to get better and better over time. Not only is the cash balance that Airbnb actually has that it owns itself going to get bigger, but if revenue grows for Airbnb, which we're growing at a double digit rate, we're going to see that deposit number grow as well. So in coming years, it could be 12, 15, 20 billion dollars of cash just sitting on the balance sheet collecting interest that Airbnb gets to keep. Just another benefit of this business and the business model, something I don't see that's getting a lot of attention, but maybe it should because the numbers are getting really big and over the next year we should see about a billion dollars in interest income just from the cash that Airbnb has. So was this something you considered in your analysis of Airbnb? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching everybody. See you here next time.